Welcome, Mary Torres, to your July numerology reading. Hope you friends are doing great out there. Welcome back, all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you and your numerology. And for some of you who might already be seeing some of these numbers. Okay. Best message, please. What message is needed for Aries Taurus, please? for July. Ooh. We have leadership coming out with 81, breaking down to 9. And 88, look at that, 8888. Eight, eight, eight. Talking about that leadership with the 8s over here, talking about that authority and leadership for new beginnings. Okay. And the leadership is just talking about helping others and stepping into your leadership roles. Um, you might have someone around you that might need a little confidence, a little um, guidance. So make sure that you're applying your workplace, your community, family, or circle of friends um, with encouraging and confident words and motivation and just really stepping up lovingly to lead and guide those around you who um, may need some help. So it feels like there's someone around you who may need a little compassion and um, Guidance. Okay. Clarifying on the leadership. The Buddha prepares. Ooh. Bringing in that 13, breaking that down to that 4, this is going to bring in your stability and making you feel very comfortable within a foundation that you are pretty much building around you. And what the Buddha prepares, it's a great card because it's talking about patience. And having patience when you are guiding someone and preparing yourself and taking the time required to truly step into your own power. So very beautiful. And clarifying on the Buddha prepares. Queen of Cups coming up with that compassion, really looking deep within that cup over there, looking deep into your intuition for the pretty much the preparedness of what needs to be done. I'm really stepping up into the Queen of Cups energy, um, which is, like I said, uh, compassion. She is an authority leader being a queen. Um, so very nice there. And she has the loyalties. So you're going to show some loyalties over here by actually helping this person out and really... Um, you know, showing them what a good friend you are, what a good, you know, um, person that you are, no matter what it is um, or who this is for. And showing that you're devoted and honest and caring towards that person and using practical sense when doing so. So not only is it going to be this beautiful compassion and love that you're going to show, it's going to have some practical sense to it. Okay. Very beautiful. Clarifying on the Queen of Cups, please. And that's bringing in that 10, too. Since we are a numerology, it's bringing in that one again. Talking about that new beginning with this friend. Bringing in the Seven of Coins. Kind of opening up, just kind of, and prepared again. Preparing you to see um, exactly, um, like I said, inside this cup, like, how am I going to do this, right? You want to make sure that everything that's said is said um, with loving compassion and authority. Do not forget the authority, right? Because you want them to make a, make them understand that this is, this is the way this has to be, right? <clears throat> it has to be this way, right, for the Three of Cups. So really showing them, actually, the three... Um, powers within yourself, right? Showing them that you have a logical thinking, you are intuitive, you have compassion, and you have soul. So really bringing the three out to show them exactly how you're going to do this. Spirit is very big on this because this person must really need you, whoever this is for, right? Whoever this resonates with. There's somebody around you who needs someone to step up to the plate, but they don't need it in this um, 
too hard, right? It doesn't need to be harsh. It has to have compassion, you know, showing I love you. Um, with the abundance over here with the 88, this is opening up this beautiful abundance for you. Um, within this friendship, there can be attracting all kinds of great things to your life. Why? Because you're giving to someone else. You're helping someone else. You know, what comes around goes around. The law of attraction. Giving beautiful energy out, you receive beautiful energy in. So, clarifying on the abundance. Four. Getting that stability going. Well, all the eights break down to four now, don't they? So, it's really showing that stability and that rebirth within this, this um, relationship you have going on. Um, you know, and it also feels like not only do you have the birth of something that can go so much deeper within the four to this, and because you're helping someone else, it almost feels like you're kind of giving them a rebirth too. So it almost feels like two in one. You're showing them how to be strong by you showing them how strong you are. And so you both are going to get a rebirth out of this. It's almost like you guys will be these two little kids over here kind of holding hands, all happy. Right, because you're giving them back their stability, making them understand things as well as yourself. And what a great birth that will be for, you know, <clears throat> for you, right? Be a great birth for you, but uh, like I said, for them as well. Um, and I think that that's a really good thing because I think if, if we could do this together, right? If you could do it together, it will show even a better connection. Because you're getting both a fresh new start, a fresh new look out, maybe even just a fresh new perception of a situation. Helping them learn to grow as well. So this is a time to celebrate. Clarifying on the birth, please, for Aries Taurus. So it could be one of those things that maybe you were... It's kind of on your mind, like, you know, they keep coming at me. How am I going to help them, right? So this is where you're just kind of looking down into your intuition and logically thinking about how it is you're going to, you know, kind of set this up, right? So it doesn't kind of backfire in your face, right? A lot of times we want to help people and sometimes we either push too hard or not push enough. So there's going to have to be a lot of uh, definitely preparedness over here. Definitely being their support, bringing out that page of coins, using that Taurus side of support also and stability once again, um, and making them understand that you're here to listen and support them. Um, and then it just, you know, have to understand with the abundance coming in, it's like you support them and then the angel points will come back and you will be supported as well. So, you know, good karma is coming out of this. Wow. Wow. For another fresh new start on a whole different basis. This is like, you know, kind of like the universe giving back a peace offering to you saying, you did a great job. I'm so proud of you. Um, and here comes your abundance. Wow. Lots of fire, lots of earth. Look at this. Um, with the six of wands, it's going to be a conquering moment. It's going to feel like you helped them conquer something. And you may have also conquered something along the way, but you did in a lot of ways, though. You conquer self-growth and learning how to deal very well in, a, in maybe a tight-knit situation, right? And if, for those of you who are used to doing this, maybe they're just preparing you to say, I would like for you to do this again, right? So take it how resonates. <clears throat> Everybody resonates a little different. Okay. So let's see what the angels have to say. Very beautiful. Oops. Look for the sign. There will be a sign coming towards you. And it could be these numbers. Okay. And anything else? Trust. Make sure that you trust in yourself and trust in the universe while doing this, right? Trust in the process of your own plan, right? Okay. And that 
was it for you, my friends. And until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.